everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to yet another episode of the 1.18 Micro Survival Let's Play. In today's episode, we are going to be building a creeper farm. As why a creeper farm, you may ask? Well, it's because we need gunpowder. Because we are about to be making some diamond armor here in just a bit. Which also means we need netherite. We need netherite, so we're all netherited up for the dragon fight coming up here in a couple of episodes. So, the biggest thing we need to do is get a creeper farm started, because we're going to need that for some TNT. Uh, we're going to need the gunpowder for the TNT. We're all, we already have the sand. Sand is over there in that little region. And we're also going to need it for eventually when we get an elytra. We're going to want some rockets. So, it's going to be a creeper farm episode today. How about that? But right before that, as you can notice on my hot bar here, there's 42 levels. What we're going to do first is that we're going to go and make some diamond armor and a little bit of extra toolage, and we're going to see what we get. I want to get some good stuff, some really good enchantments, something that's way better than what we have now. But right before we do that, consider subscribing. We have a lot of big building projects coming up, like building a massive mansion, defeating the Ender Dragon, and working on the Mega Village. And uh, I would recommend subscribing because you're not going to want to miss it. And like the video as well because liking always helps. Okay, we have our diamond blocks and our singular diamond. And we have all of what we need over here to get started. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to need to grab our lapis lazuli. Oh my lord, I am illiterate. We'll grab a couple of books. And then we need to de-do that. There we go. So what we're going to need first, we need the armor. Armor is the most important, so we're going to get ourselves the boots, the chest plate, the pants, and the helmet. There. Look at that. All diamond armor right there, boys. Now we need an iron sword. Because... You can't be doing all this cool stuff without an iron, or iron, diamond sword. We got ourselves the diamond sword. We already have a decent pickaxe, and we have this. I would get it if I could get silk touch. Because I'm fine having an iron pickaxe that's godly like this one. I'm fine with that for now. So we have those. We're going to need ourselves the iron axe. And this is the main items that I want to enchant today. So let's see what we get first that's really good. So let's do you first. Unbreaking three is good. Protection fall. That might be the one we go with. But we got to make sure. Blast protection. That's good. Aqua infinity would be... Would be good. Bane and arthropods, no... Sir, we already have Fortune 3, so I don't think we need that. I think the best we should do is gonna be the Protection 5 on the pants. It's just Protection 5, but that is good for now. So what next? We're not doing Thorns. Respiration 3 would be good. really nice. Yeah, I think Respiration 3. It's just Respiration 3, but that is good. Let's check the sword again. Sharpness 3 would be good. Efficiency on these is really good. I, I'm probably going to go for that, determining on what everything else is. Protection. Protection 3, and we have Protection 4 on those, so I know we can do better. So I think this goes to the axe. Sword. Not, I don't want Bane of Arthropods. Unbreaking 3 would be good. We'll go with Unbreaking 3. Oh, that's good! Protection 5 and Unbreaking 3. That's really good. Fire Protection would be good. Fire Aspect. I'd rather go with the Fire Protection. Then finally, finally we are not going to be able to do that well. 
I guess we can do something, so... Can we... I'm trying to think, what should we get rid of to see if we can get more XP? I'm not going to care if this isn't going to have those on it anymore. Oh, that doesn't really do much at all, does it? Okay. Sadly, the sword's getting the rough end of the stick. So, unbreaking, sharpness 2. I kind of want unbreaking, so I'm going to go spend a couple of minutes. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to probably spend 30 minutes at the farm if that happens, and I don't want to spend that long over at the XP farm. So, do we have anything of XP that is worth giving up? I guess what we can do is go to the nether. Yeah, let's go to the nether. Let's see if I can find any quartz, because quartz is a good little, uh, little tip here. Nether quartz is a really good way of getting XP. So what we're going to do is go there and get that, but while we're doing that, we're going to throw our new armor and our diamonds in there so we do not lose them. Because I don't want to lose any of this really good gear yet. I want to be able to actually use them. So let's head to the nether really quick. Okay, we are in the nether. All I'm doing really is looking around for spots that could have what we are looking for. I might just dig down. That could be a good way of finding them. So, get out of here. Look at this. Look how fast this is going to mine. Insane. Now, I don't think we're going to have any luck over here. So, I'm going to look around. Obviously, we have the nether ceiling, but that's risky. So, I'm just going to look around and see what I get. Like, right here. This is a good spot. And we can utilize fortune and get more, because this could be a good building block for us. If needed. You see how much XP this is giving? It's exactly why, why, ugh, why you want to find these, because we're almost up to 28 already. Okay, I just mined a mega vein of the quartz. I just got the 30 levels. I'm getting the heck out of here. Okay, I've returned. Let's grab that sword and let's see what we can get. Pl oh, we might need... Yeah. Yeah, lapis is kind of needed for this, you know. Uh, unbreaking three. That would be good, I think. Before we do that, what do we get with... Sharpness... Okay, I think Unbreaking 3 is going to be the better enchant. So there we go. Let's see if there's any additional enchants we can do. So, Depth Strider. Sweeping Edge. No. Uh, what else can we do? No. <laughs> Wish I could just use sticks. That would be fantastic. But, uh... Look at all we have here. Look at this. Protection 5 on Brick and 3. Protection 5. Pr uh, respiration 3. Fire Protection 3. Unbreaking 3. And Efficiency 5 is really, really good. Maybe we try another pickaxe. As much as that's crazy to say because of diamonds, I want Silk Touch. So I'm going to see. Plus. We still have 23 diamonds. I think we're fine. And we have fortune. So let's see what we get. Efficient, efficiency. I'd rather get the sweeping edge or the protection. So we're just going to throw that in there. See if we get... We... Mm, we could retire you. But for fortune too. No. Power 3, efficiency 2, projectile projects, and I'd rather do that. I'm just trying to see what the next one would be, and it's just nothing's good. So we're going to leave this here for now. And those, because we really don't... Power 2, efficiency 2. Could we add that to you? Could we add this to our sword? Would this make this a better sword? Or is it the other way around? No, we cannot add it to our sword. Okay, then. 
put that back. Let's grab all of our gear. And <laughs> it's time to officially put it on. So long, not great protected armor. And hello, diamonds. Oh, looky there. We're fully diamonded out, baby. And I thought I saw something move under me. Time. I might have to move that back. Let's be honest. There we go. There we go. There's our toolage action here. And I am getting rid of you. We don't need you in my inventory. But we are fully diamonded out. We have all diamond armor which is a fun thing indeed having respiration 3 I've never had respiration 3 before so this is gonna be fun especially if you want to do any underwater builds and uh, I didn't show how much but we gained a lot of quartz and other items from that absolutely insane we'll throw the diamonds back we'll throw you back this is now becoming a mess. <laughs> we'll throw these in here. We're going to have to make a just armor chest here soon. Maybe in uh, we have that in the, uh, the mansion base, which is what I want to do. So now it's time to figure out a spot for our brand new creeper farm. And what I'm thinking where it's going to go is over here in this stone area. So it's always working, always doing what it needs to do. We have a decent area over here behind everything. It's not too awful, if you know what I mean. It has some room. We can terraform it out if need be. It is decently flat. That or we could build over there. Make that the industrial district. Which would make sense because of the farm, uh, because of the XP farm. So I think we might go over there. Just the convenience of having it here, but it might get too laggy. So yeah, I think I'm going to do it over there. So I'm going to go grab the necessary supplies and we're going to get that started. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here is that we're going to make a circle here. About uh, a circle. A circle. Oh, it's getting nighttime. But uh, with my ADHD going off the charts, what's going on here? We're going to do seven here, going this way in like a line, and then we're going to try to make a circle going around. So we got the three here, four, you, you, how dare you? You lost, you made me lose track of my count. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and then we're going to try to repeat that all around also this t uh the tutorial i'm basing this build off of is from dusty dude it's a, looks like a very simple and easy farm to make shouldn't be too hard so one two three four five six one two three four five six seven then we have four diagonally and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, diagonally four. And then this should finish us off. There. So we have our initial circle. Now it's time to work on the next step. Okay, now I'm just putting in these walls about four diagonally from the middle two of the corners. And I'm doing that on each end like so and then doing another part on top of it mainly so the creepers don't just run really willy-nilly you know in this farm okay we're digging all of the blocks in the middle this would be easier if i had a shovel but i honestly don't care at the moment so we're going to dig each part out in the middle and then dig down three so i'll be back once i got that completed Okay, now I'm going to place the water under these two spots I emptied, so they flow that way. And while doing that, I am going to mine, dig out a massive tunnel. So we can go and have all these creepers go that way in. And uh, keep them from going into the light. Now I'm going to have to come back and go and grab one more set of water here, and I think this should be perfect. 
And then I'm going to keep working on the tunnel because we need them to spawn, which means this has got to be a logging tunnel because we're going to have campfires and they can't be around the light. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to dig four blocks down on each level of this. So they fall down and take a little bit of damage. Okay, next I'm going to add in the hoppers. So if we're going to have these here... Hmm, I need to relook over the over this. I think I have it correct. You need chests here, and then you're gonna have hoppers over top where they're gonna the creepers are gonna drop. Okay, there we go. So we need them one facing this way, so they're gonna be dropping onto here, and it's gonna be facing here. Okay, it's time to put the hoppers facing into the chests really quick. Like so. I don't think this one's correct. Let me get it out of here and redo it like this there we go we're gonna need it for these two I'm not gonna be able to do it from right there there we go so if I'm correct this should be working so we throw a couple of these in their respective spots perfect 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 and do we have any more left over no, we do not, so that's good. So this is our collection area. This is where we're going to get all of our sweet gunpowder. And this is where they're going to die. Eventually, we're going to have the good old campfires right there. Uh, I'm not going to cover that for now. We're just going to block that off right there. Yeah, I'll be right back once I have necessary supplies for the campfires. I think we're going to have it because I have the coal, I have the wood. But we also have to do the trapdoor method up there. So, uh, only creepers spawn. Okay, so now we have the necessary supplies for a campfire. So, let's throw that onto there. One. Now, I have a question. Do these stack? That is the question we are all asking. Oh, that's perfect. And we're going to need five of them. So, that's four. We should have enough for one more. Perfect. And now, it's time to place the campfires. Okay, the campfires have been perfectly placed. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I am making a way up. A little bit of a pathway. Um, yeah, that's a problem. We'll have to fix that as we go, but what I'm trying to do... Trying to make a pathway up. So a little stairway down, maybe. A little bit of that action, but we just gotta first get there first, which... Why did this have to be in the direction of gravel? Oh my, sand takes forever to turn into glass, I swear. But we're doing some glass now. We're making glass so we can put it here so we don't get killed by the creepers. But we can watch them suffer. Okay, now with our trap doors, we're going to do a little bit of this. Oh wait, no, wrong way. It's actually supposed to be one out. Is the thing here is that we're trying to trick them to walking over here. So we're going to do that on all four sides, just like so. Come on, we can get this on camera. We have enough. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, oh, ho, ho. How dare you. Now I gotta mine this out. How dare you? It's all your fault. Come here, you. That's why you weren't picked in dodgeball. This is why you're last pick in dodgeball, boy. But yep, we got this. So the entire theory is that... Oh, creeper spawns. Sees or... So you'll have some kind of cat here somewhere to scare them off. They'll head this way, get tricked, and go into there. Okay, it's been a little bit. But I've added this to the top, and I realized, oh wait, carpet. Moss carpet. We can just do this. And this would be a lot easier. Like that. See? <laughs> Sometimes I use my brain. Just getting these trap doors down so we don't have any endy spawns. And then I'll focus on getting the spider moss carpet stuff you know what i mean this stuff plop and basically what i'm doing with this i'm like looking for like a, an every four by four spot 
Because I think then we'd be able to easily just knock them out. So, can't place it if I'm... What? There. Like that. So, it, so spiders don't spawn. This is the entire point of what I'm trying to do here. And uh, now I'm going to do it to this one. I'll be back. So now it's fully filled. We got each layer set up. Now we're going to add those cats to each one of these little hole spots. Why? Because creepers hate these guys. When you're bringing these guys up, you just click that off. Make them sit. And, oh, come on. Get in your hole. Oh, this is the hard part. There we go. You make them stay here. One... So when you get these cats, they usually spawn in villages, like over there. All you have to do is tame them, and they won't despawn. And you just gotta put them in each one of these holes. And, uh, yeah, so that, uh, the guy that I referenced earlier for the design on the circle and what is gone in there, that is his design. This next part is based off of Jay Wisp's design. So what I'm trying to do is, like, his hourglass shape. But I'm doubling it, so it's a little bit of a mixture. So I'm going to get the rest of these guys into their respective spots, and I'll be back with you. Okay, all the cats are in. What I'm going to do now is very, very specific. I'm going to cover up this entire top with slabs. Uh, so usually, if I remember, slabs will cancel the spawning of some mobs. off, off ugh. And obviously, it will look better than just leaving this like it is so I'm actually gonna go over to our little area down here is that it nope that I need to cover that so I'm gonna head down here because we need to get to this I think we should do it out of some cobblestone slabs since we've been using mostly this the entire time so it's a little bit of a difference a little bit of detail I think adding a little bit of detail always helps to look your builds this we're trying to make look cool. Uh, I'm going to try to do some unique design on top because this should well be enough for what I'm going to need. Okay, now I'm going to build 120 blocks in the air and make myself a little AFK area. So out of all the blocks we have here, we, can, we definitely have 120 blocks of a certain type. I'm going to be honest, once we get the elytra... I'm specifically gonna just fly up there. So this is only temporary. So one, two, three, you know, you know the gist. I'm gonna count 60, go to 60 here, get to 120, maybe a little bit 125 for some efficiency. And then we'll see if this thing runs. I'll be back. Wait, I need to make sure what my number is. So we're gonna start off at 64. There we go. Okay, we are super high up in the air. There's our little base. And there is our area for the creeper farm. Hopefully this should be able to work. So, I'm going to test out for like a couple minutes. See if anything spawns. See if we get anything. If not, I will tweak it. And then we'll come back here and test it again. So I shall be right back. Okay, I am back. I am... This was just a test. Like when your local news station has the uh, test that goes... Eh, 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 eh. This is a test. This was just a test to see if this worked. So let's see if it did. Stay right up against this. Perfect. Oh. Oh, God. Um, yeah, there's creepers. Not the ones I was looking for. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I typically stay to hard mode when I'm going AFK. Because it has, it seems like better rates. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have that much. Well, I'm going to head up here, go to sleep really quick, and we're going to see how much this gives us. Okay, we are back to the creeper farm, which this here is going to be looking better. Uh, and eventually this long pole will disappear. Ooh, we have, a, we have a trader. We have a wandering trader. What do you have, sir? 
That would be good, but I need a lot of it, so, um, yeah, you're not going to stay alive. Sorry, sir, but I need a lot more than just that, and I know you're going to despawn. So, did this work? It did, baby, it did. Oh, and that's already a decent amount. Look at that, looky there. All I have to do is just AFK up there for like maybe like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'll have so much gunpowder. Oh, that's great. Okay, now I'm just going to decorate it a bit, and uh, I will, we'll end the episode. I, I really have a plan for what this is going to look like. <laughs> I have a plan. Looks like we have a couple of bad boys. Follow. Join me. You guys want to see this epic creeper spawner I built? Yeah, follow me. You fell right into my trap. You fools! It was a mis... It was mis... <laughs> you are fools. You are fools. You are led straight to your death. Uh, you guys were fools for thinking that was gonna work. I'm just saying. Because, uh, yeah, I wasn't leading you to see this epic creeper farm. I was leading you to the slaughterhouse. But... <laughs> Here it is. It's time to get ready on construction. Do we have a... Oh, does he have to be all the way up there? Okay, now that we have this here, this initial ring, so it does make this go basically a block up, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to decorate around it. So, do stuff like this. We're going to do it in the same kind of block mixture, and then we're going to come back after it's... Oop, wrong block. So after this part's done, this uh, globe going over, because it's going to be kind of a globe or globes, basically a half semi-sphere shape. That's what I'm trying to go for right now. And uh, we're going to try to go inward, then I'm going to decorate it with uh, texture and make it look like it's just a giant rock. <laughs> it's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Okay, I'm back, and this is what I basically did. We're gonna get up here so you can see the decoration. I basically did a little bit of like a rock pattern going up. The more it goes up, the more opulent it got, and the more rich we got, you know what I mean? Just make it look like a magic, just massive rock. That was the goal here. And uh, I don't I don't think it looks that bad. I, I think it looks pretty good. I think it going up, it's slowly changing, being more, you know, Gradient levels besides the purple which would probably belong more in this range maybe this range, but It helps make it pop out, and I think it's a unique build. I think especially since <laughs> We need to add bamboo over here because that's kind of our unique style here in this let's play is the bamboo look but now what I'm gonna do is just bring all this grass up Where we can Make it look like it's overgrown. Because flowers and all that always make everything look good, right? And we could do stuff like this. Little little rocks everywhere. Just to make this look good. And, you know, match with the area. That's what I'm trying to do. And I think this is going. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I like this part of it. This is the best part of this spot right now. And uh, I don't think it would work too well because we'd have to be up there for it to be working its best. But we do have an ominous banner. We can put this ominous banner right there, maybe. This could be like our, our unofficial logo since I use it for everything. But heading down to here. It looks like we it's it's working slowly but it's working which is good to hear well guys this has been a pretty eventful episode 13 of the 1.18 Minecraft survival series if you liked this video consider liking it because you know liking the video always helps consider subscribing subscribing helps the algorithm boost this content 
boost it to more people. The more people see it, the more the series will continue. And consider commenting down below. Comment. I've been waiting to say this. Creepa. Ah, oh, man. If you got to this point in the video, it lets me know that you got this far. I've been Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.